Hey YouTube, Azaz Mac here, canceling some uh, iTunes alerts. Um, I recently downloaded a awesome app from the Apple Mac App Store called Evernote, and so I, I'm, uh, I'm still in high school, and I've been using Pages to do all my notes. I, I create a Pages document. I, I have all my uh, my work saved in a folder. I I have it by year, and then I do it by. I'll, I'll show you actually. So I go I'll go 11th grade, and I've got um, all my classes, and so that's how I've been doing it. And I always thought that the way I was doing it was great, but I recently found an awesome application called Evernote. I never thought I'd need it. I never thought I'd want it. I saw my friend using it today in class, so I got it. So, as you can see right here, I have my uh, I've got my iPod Touch on the screen because uh, I have it jailbroken, so I can make video tutorials. So, if any of you are wondering how I'm displaying my screen, it's because it is jailbroken. I don't encourage you guys to jailbreak it. Um, that's up to you. Uh, my phone is not jailbroken, I've got an iPhone, um, but my iPod Touch 3rd Gen is. Anyway, so I created an account over here on my computer, and so I'm going to go ahead and sign on to it on my uh, iDevice. So I created my username. Going to go ahead and type that in. And my password. Sorry, guys. All right, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and sign in. So this is the first time I've ever signed in on my uh, iPod Touch. But uh, earlier today, I created this new document. So uh, it's got this really cool on the left-hand side. It shows you you've got your atlas of wor wherever you've created your documents. But you can create notebooks. So I've got one for my U.S. History class and another one for my um, AP Language and Comp class. And um, so you can easily create a new one, and you can save all your notes within it. So if I go ahead and open it up, I have my U.S. and the 1930s notes, and I have them all written down. But the great thing is I'm here on my iPod Touch again, and I can go to my notebooks on my iPod Touch, and then I can go into my U.S. history, and it has it synced right there. There it is, my, my U.S. and the 1930s notes. I can go ahead and click on it. And I can view them on the go. There we go, it loaded. Not not only can I view them, but I can also edit them. And if you can't see at the top, I have a voice recording um, choice. I have um, right here is a this is the voice recording. I have a uh, image. So if I want to take a screenshot of maybe a PowerPoint presentation that's being showed, I can do that. Uh, right here is a share button. If I go ahead and click on that, I can um, create a public link, email print, uh, Facebook, Twitter, you know, all the normal stuff. And the greatest part is the sync, the synchronization between Apple and Mac. Now, iTunes or Apple does offer that with Pages if you want to do it through the iCloud, but I, I find that really disorganized and it doesn't work the way I, I'd like it to. And this really works great. I'll go ahead and uh, show you an example. I will uh, create a new note. Uh, I will title that the test note. I'm doing that on my computer. I'm going to go ahead and close this note over here. And I'm going to start creating a note. So. I'm making a test note and it's going to be absolutely great and as you did see there uh, it's got great spell check I'm an awful typer and I'm awful at spelling um, so I, I do rely a lot on spell checking stuff and it I mean it works fine and if I go into my uh, back to the iPod and I click on US history it should load here 
in a second, and I believe I can refresh and sync it like that. There we go. There it comes in. Go ahead and click on it. So, I mean, obviously you do have a little, um, a little lag time, which is, I mean, you have to expect that. Um, but you're getting it virtually instantly. And here I have my note. Let me go ahead and edit it from over here. So all I have to do is tap on it. I can return. I'm editing this note again. And I'm going to go ahead and close that. Finished editing there. And uh, go back over here. Uh, refresh and see if it syncs. And there it is. This this app, uh, I, I feel like I've only just begun to test it. Um, it's a great full screen too. Um, it, it, it's really clean. It looks great. Um, it's got different view options. Um, I'm using the card view, but uh, you can you can do list view or you know there's there's all kinds of little things that I obviously can't get into. Um, you can throw away your notes. Um, I accidentally threw away my history note and I was freaking out earlier. But what's really great is it has uh, uh, the note trash can if you go into. It has the getting started note, um, which tells you even more than than I've even told you now. Um, you, uh, singing notes to find them anywhere. Install and use every note everywhere, which is um, which is really cool. Using it on my phone. I can go and search my notes because I mean all the time I, I'm trying to uh, study or uh, writing an essay if I wanted to write an essay I could just so simply uh, switch back and forth better than I would be able to even with pages anyway guys um, I just wanted to share this great little app with you once again it's called Evernote wow I hate it when that does that happens anyway um, Evernote, great little app. Um, I think you'll really enjoy it if you uh, if you're still a student. So go ahead and check it out. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.